we're on um, we're on camera. My favourite book is I Reality and Subjectivity. And when I heard that that was more or less at one thousand, it's like I had to read that. And in the early days, uh, when I first started to read that, because I wanted to read that straight away, I'd read one line. It'd be like my head would blow up and I would have to take the rest of the day off uh, and I couldn't read anymore, it's like my brain exploded and then the next day I'd read another line or two and then my head would blow up, it seemed like my head would blow up and, <clears throat> and, then, uh, and then eventually after I read it and then I reread it and reread it, it became very easy mm. it was like it was easy and like uh, Hawkins says like if you read, I think it's like if you read Power versus Force, which is a much less advanced book, the average reader, I think, I forgot, it either goes up 30, 35 points or 5 points, I can't remember. So I knew after I'd read through I and reread it and reread it until it was easy, I knew I had jumped a lot mm. because it was like the ego, was, it's like the fuses in the ego had been blown out you know, by, by reading it over and over again, especially the very first time. So I just had this natural inclination. I think I was lucky because I also had had you know, some profound spiritual experiences. So there was an appetite to go to the highest level as quickly as possible. There wasn't that much resistance. Mm -hmm. So definitely I is my favorite book. Um, Apart from calibrating that high, yeah. the I, what, what's about that book that's your favourite bit? Is it completely different concepts he talks about, or in a different no. way? It's a calibration. Well, it's the calibration. Yeah. Right. You know, like, often Hawkins will speak to the audience he's speaking to. So, like, um, if, if his audience, he talks about this, if the audience is calibrating at, on average 400, he'll try and speak... To the 400s are the mind and the ego and mm. rational, rationalization. So when he's got a, an audience who are rational and logical, he'll try and pitch the lecture to what they understand, so they're in the ego. Mm. But in I, he's pitching to advanced spiritual seekers. Mm. And he's not, no, when you, when you speak like the I is real, so that people can understand you, okay, you're angry at your mother, so you say, God is a loving that you forgive your mother. Mm. So that is not calibrating at 1,000. <coughs> yeah. so, so if you read that, it's presupposing a lower level of consciousness is real. You know, so when you frame things from 1,000, uh, the, the wording is very different, and it's at a much higher level of truth. So it's much more, it's much more deflating for the ego. It has less places to hide in the lower levels of consciousness. Like the, the big book in 12 Steps um, is calibrating, you know, in 500s, it's about unconditional love. Mm -hmm. So it's not anywhere near something like um, power versus force, which is much higher, or I. Like power versus force and letting go can be read by everyone. But if you tried to give I to someone on the street, you know, they, they, they would reject it they would reject it, they wouldn't, you know, their ego would have uh, an aversion to it. Not, you know, people in this group are advanced, but you try giving eye to someone in the street, you know, mm -hmm. they, they won't be able to handle it. Um, you give them letting go or powers of force, it's written in a way that they can get into. Uh, so, but, you know, if we're in a group, if we're all in this group together, and everyone's talking at the highest level of consciousness, it's going to be harder for the ego to hide. Yeah, like if there's a lot of talking at a very low level of consciousness, then it's going to be more easy for the ego to keep its ground. So I like talking about the observer in the group. When I'm talking about the observer, it's like let's be the witnessing of our thoughts, of our feelings, of the body. So if we're talking about that for 10 or 20 minutes, you know, there's, no, there's nowhere to hide. There's nowhere for the ego to hide. Whereas if I'm talking about my experience with funny films, uh, there can be places for the ego to hide because it's quite uh, dualistic. Do you understand what I mean? Yeah. Dualistic. So it's like there's a me that likes laughing. Mm. Uh, whereas let's be in the observer of the me, then we're trying to dissolve the core problem, which is the me that believes it's real. Mm. Any other questions?
one short one, yeah. just about. Is it possible to get um, Dr. Hawking's office visit series that you spoke about? Yes. Not on a CD, but on audio, because I had to look today and I couldn't see anywhere to find it. Yeah, very easy. It's on Audible. So uh, all Audible the Audible as in website. Yeah, the website uh, a u d i b l e dot co dot uk. Okay. If you subscribe to Audible, your first one's free. And people might be able to email you some stuff, but. Um, the Office series, there, I think there's three. For eight pounds, you get three of them all, all in one go. Okay. So it'll say something like, this is pain... You couldn't find them. Yeah, well, if you've got problems, let me know. But, um, yeah, they're, they're on there. And uh, they've got a special... Called office, office series. It might be called something else. It might be called something else, but yeah, I can, I can definitely... Yeah, called Office Visit Series. I couldn't see them. Uh, they, are, they are on there. So if you do... Doc, Dr. Hook... Yeah, yeah. If you put Dr. Hawkins, Dr. David R. Hawkins, you get different ones of his coming yeah. up. Mm. And then you have to go through and it'll be like, this one is on pain, fear and anger. Mm. And that's no, three... That. Yeah, yeah they, they are on there. Okay. Uh, yeah. And uh, so you can get that. Even his one on healing and re uh, healing uh, on there has got excerpts from his office series oh. on there. So a lot of them, that's a good one if you don't want to buy all, this, all the separate ones. You're talking because about the CDs. You're talking about downloads as a... The CDs. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So okay, I can put right. it on iPad or straight away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. They're on Audible. Audible. Yeah, that's the website's called Audible. Audible.co.uk. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So yeah. just to mention, interesting. Well, you might find an yeah, yeah. you an interesting fact. 